Hey everyone, it's me, Arthur Cates, or John Krasinski, your second time behind the lens, yes. man. How was it different with the hollers than the first time? Well, it's interesting. I think the first time was more of like a cinematic experience. It was a little more of an art house film, and I was just so lucky to be able to do that because David Foster Wallace is one of my favorite authors, and that was an extremely personal experience for me. And then this is a very linear story. It's a much bigger cast, and um, you know, it's it's a lot more responsibility because as you're telling the story, you realize if you're not making people cry, you're failing. If you're not making people laugh, you're failing. And if you don't get a cast this good, you're failing. So I had a lot more uh, uh, pressure. You had a pretty good cast. I there. had a good I mean, Margot, one of the best living actresses. We've got. Charlto, awesome. That's right. Everybody should keep saying that, yeah. <laughs> when you get to work with a cast like this, it's got to be such a joy, man, right? It's such a joy, and it's really easy. You know, I mean, I remember asking Matt Damon about Clint Eastwood, and he said he only does one or two takes, and that's terrifying. And he asked Clint about it one day, and Clint said, yeah, but I hired you to do the job I know you could do. And that's how I feel about this cast. When you get somebody this good, these people this good, you just sit back and watch, because they're just going to bring their own thing to it. I was in awe every day. How about this family you're telling the story of? What a unique family. It's, they're train wrecks like my family, but there's still so much love there, right? Absolutely, yeah. And for me, I think that's the that's what I hope everybody gets out of it. The thing I, I've most enjoyed about this process is hearing how people are connecting to these characters on screen saying, that's my family. And that doesn't mean that you've had a parent go through a traumatic experience. It doesn't mean you have a crazy brother. It just means that you can see up there the, the importance of having a family that's loving and that hey, family's complicated and it's a little messy and you may love your family, you may not love your family, but it's important that we keep talking about things like family, especially in a world like today, which has got a lot of drama. My last question, mm -hmm. Jack Ryan. Jack man. Ryan. How cool is that when oh you found God, out? What can people look forward to with it? Well, it's, it's, I, I'm, I'm excited to see what we all do with it too. It's just so brand new, but Carlton Cuse who created Lost is the guy behind it. And the way he pitched it to me is he said it's actually not even television, it's long form storytelling. It's like one long movie in 10 parts, it's like a mini series. So really he said um, the books are so uh, dense and the character so highly intelligent, his superhero skill is like intelligence. So he's gotta slowly draw out everything, slowly find all the solutions. So it's gonna be a whole new look at the spy genre.